Assalamualaikum. I hope everybody is doing well. So in this video, uh, you will see how to apply for a passport for a newborn, and uh, what is the steps and how do you do that. And I hope it will be helpful for you guys if you like the video. And if it's helpful for you, please make sure you like it and you should subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Take care. So today we are going to get uh, her passport, her US passport and and I thought I should make a video about it and upload it so this way whoever wants to apply uh, urgent same day passport they should know what's the process. I'm gonna be uh, in this video you will see step by step process of what you have to do to get the passport as soon as possible so stay tuned. Hey guys, so meanwhile I'm waiting for my sisters to come down. Um, I'm gonna tell you so far so far what I have done. So to get a passport, technically you the first and most important thing you need is a birth certificate. And that you have to when the baby is born, you have to call the registrar office of the of the hospital and they will register it with New York City. Uh, Department of Health they have to register it and once it's regis registered you can get the case number from them and you can go um, go to the main Manhattan office of Department of uh, Health and get the birth certificate by yourself and it's not that tough it's pretty easy you just have to find parking you just go there they you tell them that there is an emergency that it's really urgent that God forbid somebody died in your country where you have to urgently travel travel or uh, there is a situation that you have to be there somebody's in the hospital or something like that so guys this is the birth certificate it's original uh, you can either go to to the Manhattan office and get a copy which we did this is a certified copy of the birth certificate but Actually, yesterday we just got original one in the mail as well. So, yeah, this is the main thing what you need. And with this, you have to call uh, the passport office. You have to tell them that it's an emergency. They're gonna give you, they're gonna give you an appointment to come and visit them. Uh, in New York, there was no appointment till next two weeks. So that's why we are going to Connecticut right now, and uh, it's almost two hours drive. And uh, yep, I have all the documents with me and i pray that we get the we get the passport and you know so guys this is the baby girl my niece and for her we are, we are going all the way to connecticut to get the passport
guys so we are here in Connecticut and uh, the passport office is not open yet they said come in uh, in next 30 minutes and right like 10 minutes away from the passport office there is this place I don't know what is this place called I'll just google it and put it in the video but it's really nice out here So we are outside the passport office and we will be going in in next in next 15 minutes and so here's how it works you have to call them you have to schedule an appointment you have to go there they will send you an email with the the confirmation number and the time and you need the the passport application you need a two passport size photos you need the passport fees and they charge you uh, another $60 for the expediting and they ask you for a print a printed proof of uh, international travel so you guys have to book a ticket you actually don't have to pay for it you just you know from your travel agent you can tell them to get you an itinerary and that will work and also proof of life and uh, or death emergency so you guys can get a doctor's note from your country where you're traveling any of your relative like you know fat your father or anybody else that there is a situation and you have to go so yep that's how it works and I have everything here I hope inshallah everything goes smooth and we get the passport today hey guys so we just reached the passport office and first of all the parking is a huge problem over here uh, you have to find the parking on street you cannot park you cannot park uh, in this uh, compound so if you luckily find a parking you go inside and also uh, make sure you have the confirmation with you because they don't let you go in without the confirmation number so they sent us back they said that uh, the photos were not good so guys make sure that the photos are two by two and it should fit the form accurately so we got some new photos over here so I hope this will work now. Now we are heading back uh, to the office. Okay, and then we have to give them the forms. Okay. Hey guys, so uh, they took our form and all the documents, and they said that uh, hopefully within few hours they're gonna give us a call, and they will issue the passport because it's we are in Connecticut. All the passports get the approval from Washington, so they have to get the approval from Washington first and then uh, they will issue it and one more thing guys you have to make sure that you bring the passport for the mom or the dad of the of the newborn it's not written anywhere thank God we had it but you know if you don't have that they will they will not honor it they say that you must have it they should put it on the website or on the email they send for the appointment but they don't uh, you guys should remember that worst part of Connecticut passport office is that you can see it's a big space over here a whole lot parking area but these these buildings don't let you park uh, in their parking area they, they tell you that either you have to park on the street or just find a parking somewhere and, it, and it's really hard hard to find parking so guys we're back in the car and now we have to wait they said that we have to wait a couple of hours they're gonna give us a call once the passport is ready they gave us they gave us this receipt um, 
it is uh, this is a confirmation we have to bring this receipt to the passport office when they call us to pick up the passport so let's see we'll just stay in the town and hopefully everything goes well then we'll go back home with the passport Uh, yeah guys so we just received a call from the passport office and they said that we have to submit an affidavit that uh, uh, the newborn doesn't have a social security so it means that if you haven't received the social security in mail you can still get the passport but you have to sign affidavit so we are going back to the passport office to get the affidavit signed you don't have to bring that it's not online you just when you go to the passport office they give you there and you just have to sign it the mom or the father has to sign it so guys, I just uh, I just received a call from the embassy that the passport is ready to pick up. So I'm going to pick up the passport right now. So I'm here at the passport office. They just called me that the passport is ready. So I'm here to pick it up. the passport office just called us and they said that the the passport was ready to pick up and then then here it is so yeah guys so within 2 hours we got the passport and i hope this video will be helpful to you guys and that'll be it take care now we're heading back to new york <laughs>